Okay, so today I have my leprechaun trap. Um, so we have a couple of little things. I have a chair, a cushion, a little um chocolate bar here, a coat rack, a stool, and a place for him to make the things. So um, I actually have a trap trigger. But to show you how this would work, I'm going to be using a little spec shop. So he would come in here and he could sit, he could hang up his little hat, he could sit down and make something to eat out of the chocolate gold. Eventually he'll take a piece of chocolate and he has to count his gold. So he'll take the gold and he'll be putting it in a pile. He'll come across one with a string in it. He won't think about it, he'll take it to the pile, and this thing will close on him. Now, since I cannot pull it from the inside, I just have um, some string right here. Um, so, let's say he has a piece of gold. I would just set this up. He would... little hole here. He just climb in, he'll start counting his gold, and take the piece of string, closes on him. And why are you trying to close them on the, what's different about um, um, leprechauns in Ireland? Um, the difference between a leprechaun in Ireland is they're greedy and they're evil. If you come out, you don't go looking for leprechauns in Ireland, and if you catch one, you do not want to, well, let's just say you don't want to try to see it. You want to keep it in this box and you want to wait until you find somewhere where he, where you can let him go and he won't come after you, which is very doubtful. 